Oh, cool. Cactus, all right. <laughs> There's the camp, everybody. Check this out. Check it out, going around the hobo, hobo t uh, flag. There's the campsite. Everybody left. <laughs> How fast will these fly? Uh, they'll go up to 100 miles an hour. This one does about 70. 70, wow, that's still fast. Check it out. And there we are right below us here. That's us right in the center. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it throws your balance off. Well, if you're you. standing, when you're standing, you try to lean into it or something, you don't need to. Feels like kind of feels like standing up on a roller coaster or something. What yeah, uh, should what have. kind of what kind of range do you have in something like this? This one will go out two miles. Two miles. Wow, that's that's a long ways. And what what uh, what frequency? This is operating on control is 900 megahertz and video is on 5.8 gigahertz. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think when I was doing it, it was like 2.4 was kind of the new, new stuff back then. Yeah, that's for control, but with control, you're only going to be able to get out uh, about half, maybe a mile at the most, okay. a half mile. Right. But with 900 megahertz at a lower frequency, you're able to punch farther and more power. Right. Now, can you do things like, uh, like barrel rolls and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, let's do one of those. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I was even ready for it and it still throws you off. Oh man. <laughs> it's funny how your legs start twitching. Trying to regain your balance would when you, you don't need you like to. Would you like to switch and sit down? No, no, this is that's the fun of this. This is great. Loop. Woo! That wasn't so bad there. This is cool. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this about four years. Wow. Do you race them? Do you, I mean, you get in competitions with people and stuff? I did a little bit, but I'm an old man, and there's a lot younger kids and their teenagers who've got reflexes like cats who yeah. play video games all day or just so fast. I enjoy doing this, getting down <laughs> in the bushes and messing around. You ever Sometimes, crash it? Oh, yeah, you crash them. It's just part of the... But because they're made out of carbon fiber and polycarbonate plastic, they really oh, they're, bounce they're back tough. well. They're pretty tough. Okay, yeah. But you can get down here and chase uh, jackrabbits and such. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, the, 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 the goggles that I'm looking at, they're, they're, they're not as clear, apparently, as your goggles. Because I, I would never be able to see a jackrabbit in this, unless we were, like, hovering still. Uh, mine are a little bit clear. Higher quality, yeah. But it is an analog signal, so it's nothing like what you'll get on a GoPro camera or uh -huh. a, uh, a, a DJI Phantom product. But I'm getting instantaneous feedback. Right. There's okay. no delay. The video delay is um, somewhere in the neighborhood of 11 milliseconds. I'll be darned. Now, Check it out. <laughs> they have, DJI now has come out with a set Whoa. of goggles that are digital. Yeah. And that's kind of changing the whole hobby a bit. Yeah. 
down in, in the bushes. Wow. You're See. good. Man, you're good. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, be darned. This is neat, neat stuff. This is that poor one's been shot by a shotgun, it looks like, this poor cactus here. Right. Oh, yeah. Pepper this poor catter. Now, I think, I think it looks like birds and stuff, barrel and making nests. Maybe so. Can you come down and hover right in front of my camera? Or is that too? Yeah, we'll do. I don't want to, I'm, I'm going to take the goggles off because I don't want to, I'll get right behind you. I'm standing right behind you. Uh, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep, no, that's fine. I think it probably got it in there. I'll do a straight up over. Oh, there she went. <laughs> ah, got too creative. All right, <laughs> the Titanic has sunk. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Yes, it's a lot of that fun. Is really cool. Where'd it go? There it is. And she's all depowered. Yeah, it's not broke or anything. No. Well, at least you don't see it is. Anymore. No, nothing's, it doesn't do anything to it. Right. They'll come back over here and show everybody what we've been flying. <laughs> it's a seven inch, uh, you can call it a racing drone, why not? Mm -hmm. That's a quadcopter is what they call them, a racing quad. But this is more of a cinematic one uh -huh. to For take video cameras, cameras and do and long range distance. So. I live in St. George, Utah, and we use this to dive the canyon walls in areas yeah. that, not can't do it in Zion, yeah. but there are areas in the, like the Virgin River Gorge, and you might be familiar with that if you've ever driven I-15 from Vegas into like Salt Lake, you'll go through that place that looks like the Grand Canyon right. before Beautiful. you get into it. Yeah, it's, it's real pretty through there. Got the canyons we can dive in because that's a legal area for us to fly these. Right. Do you have to have all the FCC permits and everything? Nope. Really? No. It's because it's a toy or? Well, it's not necessarily a toy. There is what we call a toy grade, but it's it's not regulations other than an FCC number on the craft. Okay. So. But you have to have that permit that everybody talks about. Yeah, okay. it's nothing but a registration with the FCC that right. says that you've operated FAA mm -hmm. should say. FAA. That's operating yeah. it. Right. Oh, right. Now these are brushless motors, of course. I'm familiar with that. Let's get right up here close. Right. Let me shut off the video that we were recording. Okay. Okay. Heard, heard it beep. Yeah. Okay. And so this is just a little cheat. These are, we can use a GoPro, but I tend to not like to put $300 cameras on mine. Because you just this, crashed it, that might have broke the camera, yeah. Right, and uh, this little camera is uh, less than $100. It's got a little silicone sleeve under it. Yeah. 1080p at, six, at 30 frames per second. Right, okay. Not the best quality, but enough for YouTube quality. Yeah. And then you have a, another little bitty camera that's uh, higher frame rate, but lower resolution or something like that? The little bitty one has 1080p at 60 frames per second. Right. Okay. It's actually a better, a little better quality than this one. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, so, like you said, yes, they are brushless motors, mm -hmm. um, and then they the, all the controls for those brushless motors are inside. Right. It uses a system that, like in your cell phone, when you know your cell phone knows it's been tilted. Your battery. When it has a system on board that senses its movement. That's what a pound, maybe. Yeah. She weighs uh, seven. Oh, this one's 560 grams. So yeah, got some rocks here. Right about a pound. <laughs> here's the here's what he was looking through, and there was the camera. And that's now, where we'll record the video. This footage. camera, what you just saw, was sitting out of this camera. He just straps it on the top here, and uh, um, all the there's the radio, the, an, the antenna. The receiving antenna and broadcasting antenna too. It's right? the broadcasting for the video, and then these little black ones here are for the control. Okay. It's a longer antenna because it's at a longer frequency. The 2.4 ones can be very small. This is 900 megahertz, so it's a little bit okay. longer. Now your your camera's aimed at an angle because you're flying like this most of the time, so the right. camera will be. The camera is fixed to the aircraft. It does not pivot like in a uh, Phantom, a DJI product, like or my a regular drone. camera yeah. drone. It, it's fixed, so and when I tip forward, uh -huh. I don't want to be looking at the ground, I want to be looking as I'm Ahead. going forward. Right. 
So, so it, when you come in as a hover, you're kind of looking up in your sky. Yeah, it's that's part of the transition. You have to understand that you're looking at the sky and look at the very bottom of the screen when you come into land. Dust on it. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be darn. Now, uh, what would something like this cost? I mean, it's thousands of dollars here. No, it's not that much money. It's one of those piecemeal things, and it's kind of you get what you get mm -hmm. by how much you spend. Uh huh. If you get a higher end radio for control, mm -hmm. it'll work for everything, and they can run two hundred dollars. Okay. If the the drone itself, the frames can mm -hmm. be anywhere from forty to one hundred and twenty dollars, depending it? upon your quality. Then you have the flight controller, and that system's another forty bucks. All around, the drones are about two hundred bucks. What I'm holding in my hand is about two hundred dollars. That's it. Right. I had no. I thought these were thousands of dollars and right. stuff. Right. Then you then you have to have batteries that can run about uh -huh. anywhere from twenty to forty dollars a piece. That's the old lipo. That's a four cell lipo. It's a 4S 2200. 4S 20. There we go. Because this is a larger than a. Tw this is a seven inch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When when I heard you flying, you were flying the other one a little while ago. Set this one down. Just set it like this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And this is a true racing drone. This is a five inch. Uh huh. Five inch what? The bla so the blades are five inches in diameter. Okay. The other one was seven, uh -huh. and this is a true racing drone running at five inches. Okay. Now this is one you were playing around earlier, and this, right. this thing would really scoot. Because it's running a 6S battery uh -huh. at 1,000 milliwatts. Okay. So, uh, actually this is a 5S at 13, but I can run 6 is my favorite on mm -hmm. it at 1,000. And she'll do about, I, I would say she's doing at least 100, because she's drawing 80 amps at uh, 22, or about 24 volts. So, mm -hmm. that's somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,000 watts, which is pretty close, a little over a horsepower. Okay, and is this one also roughly two hundred bucks? Yes, same I price. can't believe they're that cheap. I, I was thinking they were so much more expensive. Now they come as a kit, and you have to assemble them. Some are, some aren't. Some are already made, ready, ready to fly. Built. All you have to do is put your receiver in. <coughs> okay. Then, it, then it comes down to the computer programming. You have to know something about mm -hmm. the pro. Is there's uh, programming uh, software out there that then we program all the functions and how fast it turns and mm -hmm. how uh, maneuverable it is and mm -hmm. get rid of the shakes that it sometimes mm -hmm. can get in the dynamics of how it flies. Okay, now this, the arms here, that's all carbon fiber. Everything's carbon really, fiber. Really light, but very, very tough. And then this is aluminum. Aluminum cage, okay. Right. Now this is the antenna, like the other one had the tall antenna, this right. is the shorter antenna? Shorter antenna for the racing. That one goes this longer range. This is for the, the video or the control? For the video. Okay, and this is for the control. And these little ones are for the control. So very it's good. also a 900 megahertz and then on 5.8 on the okay. uh, video. Wow, and then this is the the camera on this one. Same thing, kind of tilting up at an angle. So when you're hovering, you're looking at the sky. But when you when you're racing, the camera's actually looking going forward. Am I on? Yeah, I'm on there. So um, so anyway, this is the two, and you have another one, didn't you? Yeah, we actually have. I have a little we call. Uh, it's kind of like a tiny look, mm -hmm. but it's a sitting. Look at it's it. A, it's just back home. We'd call that danky. Yeah, that's not that's even the smallest stinky. one I have. That one really? actually has a system that will record video at 1080p at 60 frames per second on board. Really? And it runs wow. on a 3S battery, uh, only 300 milliwatts, so it's small. But you can fly that indoors because the propellers are protected right. around people and you don't yeah. have to worry about banging into, into people and hurting anybody. Okay. So you torment your cat with this one. <laughs> yeah. I'll be darned. And it's a much smaller battery apparently. Very, yeah, it's a skinnier battery. Skinnier, okay, it slides in here and then plugs in. And then, and then the here's, ultimate. I assume that's the antenna on this on the back, this little wiry looking thing. And this is the ultimate in tiny. That's even smaller, <laughs> look at that. And this is what we call a tiny whoop, and this is designed to race indoor on lighted courses. We, we race them in bars. Really? And, yeah. Wow. There's some, uh, brew pubs that have races in Colorado that race these go. indoors. Just show you. With a lighted course. And the, the yeah, this is how big the battery is. Oh, on that one, that's, that's a dinky, <laughs> oh man, that is really small. It slides up underneath. Look at that, that's, that's smaller than my finger, my, my, my pinky there. Uh, <laughs> what I was gonna show you here, oh, I, th I thought I had a quarter. Oh, here, I got a nickel here. But that's that's a nickel, that's how, that gives you a size comparison how big this thing is. Uh, from, from tip to, or. From, from here, from this propeller to that before is 65 millimeters. From the hub. From the hub to the hub. Okay, and over out, outside diameter, roughly four inches maybe? I would say about yeah, that. Yeah, about four inches, yeah. Well, that is yeah. just unreal. 
I always suggest sometimes when people want to start out, get one of these little tiny whoops. You can get yeah. these as a ready to fly and a whole setup, and they're inexpensive for about $150. And pretty much, you know, and you not, can me mess around with it inside the house. You don't have to worry about flying it away or getting out in the wind. And yeah. you can have a lot of fun scaring the cats and around the house. How does how does this handle wind? Uh, it's not outdoors much. Not Andy? Okay. No, Even today, no this wind right here? Yeah, it, it really. kind of gets a little bouncy and messing around. Now, you said this records in 1080p? This doesn't record at all. Okay. And you, it's too small Th to carry weighs, a camera? Yeah, this weighs, with the battery, weighs 30 grams. And the other, this other one in your hand, that does record? Yeah, this does record. And then where's the recorder at on it? It's on a board inside. There's oh, okay. A, there's a board inside that, and the camera here will record and also give me video for flight. Okay, is it an SD card, like a micro SD? Right, micro okay. SD card inside. That's hard to get to in there, isn't it? You have to it's take a it tight apart. little spot. It's right there. Oh, there I see it. Yeah. yeah. There it is, right? Here's the micro SD card, right <laughs> right there, right behind that little thing. Well, that yeah, is. This little funny thing is the antenna. That's actually the transmitting antenna. That is neat. Yeah, okay, I kind of figured that. Yeah, they. I'll be darned. <laughs> So you, you, this can't carry a little. That little camera is too small There's for no that. There's no need for it because it has internal on board, yeah. on board recording. Well, I'll be darned. Well, you want to fly that one around real quick, or is it the battery charged or not? Let's see. All right. All right. Yeah, we're recording. You see it up in the right-hand corner. You see the red lights going. It says recording. Okay. Now this is the little mini one. Okay, we're on the ground right now. Okay, there we go. I'll be darned. <laughs> oh, you can get real, real close into it because it's so much smaller, or just more control, or what? It's so much smaller, we can go all kinds of little tight spots. Wow. Oh. Oop. The battery wasn't quite charged enough. Right, right. We'll okay. get better shots around the camp. Okay. It's really barking at me right now. Uh, is that because the battery's low? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it just gives everybody an idea about this. Oh, wow, well, it's like right in front of me. I can hear it. I can't see it. Whoa! <laughs> He's dive bombing me. Oh, Lord. Whoa! Are you doing that on purpose, or are you just a bad act? Uh, bad pilot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great! They come right behind my head here. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, you don't that. have to because they're protective propellers. Yeah. You could bounce into they somebody. Just bump into you and bounce off. Yeah. The worst one is if you got a girlfriend with long hair. She'll be mad when you yeah, get this stuck in her hair. But we don't got to worry about that, do we? No. no. Oh Lord, I had a little indoor. Uh, drone and I'd fly around in the house and Pam would bark at me, get that thing away from me <laughs> and scare the dog. <laughs> oh, be darn that. You need to turn this off. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. All right. Oh, we'll that was up fun. some more batteries and yeah. we'll come over to the camp. Okay. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow it'll be better if we get some clearer skies. Okay, so. very good. Uh, all right, well. Uh, the cameras don't like this flat light. Right, right. It's kind of overcast today, so. But yeah. yeah. That was that was a bad day for solar. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of generators running in camp today. Right. So, all right. Well, good enough, Mark. Appreciate you showing me this. Right this on, was really, that was really cool. <laughs> it's been was, a good time. I, we're, I was Thank over you, there you drinking folks. my coffee, and all of a sudden you hear this. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> you know, I'm like, all right, I'll find who's flying this. <laughs> I come through the ditch, and he's over flying. And he looks up at me, and he says good or bad <laughs> you coming over to scold me or i'm like no this is cool so anyway yeah. i would say it's a hummingbird on red bull there you go <laughs> all right well thank you for showing me that was, right pretty, on. that was that was really neat